Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. Welcome to our YouTube channel, and we're back at you guys with another video. Alright, so let's get started. Here, we have a tabletop prototype of a pulse magnetic motor. The motor is 12 inches wide by 4 inches tall. The motor weighs about 6.5 pounds. The rotor of the motor weighs two pounds of its own. This motor has six coils. Four of the coils are electromagnets that drive the rotor of the motor, and two of them are the generating coils that generate AC current. The rotor has eight permanent magnets. They are very strong. They are all facing north polarity. Each of the four driving coils has its own trigger circuit. And each trigger circuit has its own little sensor coil. This motor can run both directions, but the timing is set to run clockwise. This motor can run on a 9 volt battery for up to 4 hours. It consumes very little energy but can run on 12 to 24 volts DC. The speed of the motor can vary from 1800 to 7000 RPM. The motor is not self starting. It takes a small rotation for the timing to begin to work. It will take a minute to reach full speed at 9 volts DC input. We will get it started, then disconnect the battery, and it will take a while to stop since the rotor has a lot of inertia. The generating coils induce about 15 volts AC, but Lenz's law applies here. The greater the power draws out of the coil, the greater the energy required for the rotor shaft. Now we will lighten up 20 LEDs. Here, we have a rectifier that converts AC to DC. We have a 9 volt battery here. The meter measures the voltage of the battery. The voltage is at 7.5 volts. This is not a rechargeable battery, but we will attempt to charge it. We will connect a rectifier to the battery, and the battery will begin to charge. We connected a load of 20 LEDs 
to capture the collapsing field energy of one of the drive coils. Thanks for watching everyone and make sure to subscribe because we have some really cool videos coming your way. And make sure to check out our online store at www.mindoftesla.com or the link in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and we'll see you next time.